Hello, welcome again. We have learned different components of ABG and PaO2 in the previous chapter, now we will see the significance of PaCO2 in our blood and the diagnostic approach to respiratory disorders and various neuromuscular diseases. When you inhale, oxygen enters your lungs and is transferred to the alveoli. The transport of oxygen into the blood and the elimination of carbon dioxide from the blood take place here. The molecules will travel from the alveoli into the blood and back as they should if the partial pressures of oxygen and carbon dioxide are normal. Now, what happens when the partial pressure of carbon dioxide or CO2 rises above the normal level? The rise in blood carbon dioxide levels above normal is called hypercapnia. In hypercapnia, there will be a shift to the carbonic acid in the presence of too much CO2, resulting in the formation of hydrogen cations and bicarbonate anions. As we know, the bicarbonate buffer system involves carbon dioxide. The increased production of hydrogen ions causes the pH of the body to drop, resulting in acidosis. What we know, until now, is that an increase in the level of CO2 causes acidosis whereas a decrease in level causes alkalosis. PCO2 is the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood. The normal range of PCO2 is between 35 to 45. Now, when you understand the basics of gas exchange and CO2 retention in the body, let's get started with ABG analysis. First, tell me what this ABG is suggesting. Is there any hypoxia? Is it showing increased level of CO2? Is there any acidosis? No, no, and no. As we see, pH is within normal limits, CO2 is between 35 to 45, and PaO2 levels are also normal. Hence the ABG report is within normal limits, suggesting no severe respiratory distress. Now look this ABG, here pH is less than 7.35 which means it's acidosis. The CO2 levels are higher means respiratory, and PO2 is 57, which means hypoxia. So final interpretation will be respiratory acidosis. Now, we are going to see body's compensation. When lungs fail to wash out carbon dioxide, there is accumulation of CO2 in blood causing drop in pH. And here the kidney play its role by absorbing bicarbonate to maintain acid-base balance of blood. This is called the body's compensation mechanism which plays important role to maintain buffer of blood and pH ideal, that is between 7.35 to 7.45. Compensation can be either full or partial. In case of respiratory acidosis, if bicarbonate reabsorbed by kidney enough to bring back pH to normal, it's called fully compensated respiratory acidosis. In case if body failed to bring back pH to normal it's called partially compensated. Now, look at this example and tell me if it is fully or partially compensated respiratory acidosis. The pH of blood is normal in this case, but the level of CO2 is raised. So it's not acidosis, but why not? Why did increased levels of CO2 didn't change the pH of blood? It's where the compensatory mechanism of the body plays its role. To maintain pH, the kidney compensates by increasing the level of bicarbonate in blood, resulting in normal acid-base balance, even when there is significant CO2 retention. This condition is called compensated respiratory acidosis and is present in case of chronic respiratory acidosis. Here we comes to our next topic, types of respiratory acidosis. Since, it's hypercapnic respiratory failure, it's of two types. Acute respiratory acidosis and chronic respiratory acidosis. Acute respiratory acidosis is when the pH of blood drops below normal and the level of CO2 is raised. Whereas in chronic respiratory acidosis, the pH is within normal limits, but significant CO2 retention. This condition is caused by the compensatory mechanism of the body, so there is an increased level of bicarbonate in order to compensate for the acid-base balance of the blood. Chronic respiratory acidosis is seen in COPD, ILD etc. 
In the next session, we will discuss the bicarbonate and metabolic disorders, along with compensatory mechanisms of the body. And at last the ABG analysis and clinical significance. So stay tuned. It's gonna be lots of fun.